So you're thinking about moving to San Diego, but San Diego is huge with 52 different neighborhoods. So what part do you choose? Well, I got you covered. Today I'm out here in North Park and I'm gonna to be touring this vibrant and artsy city to give you an idea of what life is like living in North Park. I'll also talk about the various price points when looking to purchase a home and I'll be touring three different properties all in different price points to give you an idea of what it costs to purchase a home in North Park and if you can see yourself considering North Park to be your next home. All right, let's get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if you want to learn everything there is to know about San Diego and surrounding areas so you can live like a local, make sure you subscribe and tap that bell to be notified so you can be first to learn about the market here in San Diego. My name is Jamie and my team and I help people from all over the country relocate and invest in real estate right here in San Diego. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We are happy to help you make that move to the best city in California. Am I in the best city in San Diego? I guess we'll find out. If you're somebody who loves vintage shops, then this is where you're gonna come. There's so many vintage stores, secondhand stores, just a lot of crystal shops and just places with cool knickknacks. You find a lot of like eclectic stores are gonna be here in North Park and then boutiques as well. So there's some really cute boutiques with some cute clothes, home decor. So there's gonna be shops for home decor and then of course plant shops. I feel like plant shops are getting so popular in the last few years. I think all the millennials are not having kids. They're just getting more plants and I can contest to that because I am in that group. Animals, plants, that's, that's my life. I'm out here in one of North Park's neighborhoods called Altadena. It was established in 1913. A lot of North Park is older. Think 1920, 1930, 40s. So you get these charming craftsman style homes, Spanish style homes. Now, when you're buying an older home, a lot of these, if we look, there's no garages, right? So a lot of them will have no garages or they'll have detached garages with the garages being in the back of the lot. And over time, a lot of residents have converted their detached garage into additional living space and ADU. So what that does, it takes away parking spots. So you'll see a lot of streets, it's actually not too bad right here on this street that I chose, but a lot of the streets in North Park are very congested, but that's what you get with older neighborhoods. It's not just North Park, it's older neighborhoods as a whole for the most part. They're, the streets are more narrow uh, because of lack of parking or those lack of garage space, whether they be converted or not, you are gonna have cars on the streets. And another thing with this neighborhood in particular, but a lot of older neighborhoods, is the electrical wires are not underground. So you will have a lot of rows and rows of electrical wires. You can't totally see them right here, which is good. So if you don't like that look, then this might not be the place for you. Uh, it's very subjective. Everybody has things that are important to them and they know what's important and what's not important. But yes, electrical wires run through North Park and some streets are definitely going to be worse than others. But for those who love this, this style home, this charming, eclectic, unique, uh, you're not gonna find your cookie cutter homes in North Park, they, they don't exist. Majority of the neighborhood are single family homes, but you will also find your condos and townhomes and apartments. A lot of apartments are going to be on Illinois Street, Utah Street, um, Ohio Street, which is anything closer to University Avenue is where you'll find majority of apartments and that condo lifestyle. So a lot of North Park is walkable. I wouldn't say all of it's walkable, but a lot of it is walkable. So right now I'm probably about a 10 minute drive, 10 minute walk, 10 to 15 minute walk to University Avenue, which is where the heart of North Park is, where all the restaurants and stuff, where I was at earlier. Now, when I want to mention when buying an older home, there are a few things you have to look out for. You need to look at the age of the roof, you need to verify whether or not the electrical has been updated, and then also check if the foundation is sound, right? So we need to make sure that we check the foundation. A lot of homes that were built during this time are on a raised foundation, so they're not built on a slab. That means that there's going to be a crawl space 
underneath the house. So you'll be able to access, uh, have that access underneath the home. Now the neighborhood is older, so you will see that the streets need, need some work, right? There's a lot of cracks, there's potholes, there's, you can tell the sidewalks are uneven. It, it needs some work, but given its age, it's looking pretty fabulous if you ask me. So North Park has a certain vibe to it that you don't find in other parts of San Diego. The style of homes is a big one. It's, it's what draws a lot of people to purchase a home here, but also the art scene. So it's an extremely vibrant and artsy community. Highly family oriented, has good schools, lots of activities and places to go for the, you know, things to do for the kids and for, or for the family to go to. You're also near Balboa Park, which is the largest cultural park in the U.S. And Balboa Park has museums, you have the San Diego Zoo, you have, there, there's a golf course there, and it's all very close to North Park. So North Park is just east of Balboa Park. So lots of parks, lots of activities. You're about a 15 minute drive to downtown San Diego, a 15 minute drive to the nearest beach, so the coast, the airport's close by. You're near all major commuter routes, so you have the 8 and the 805. This area draws a lot of people to it because of the location, close proximity to everything, close proximity to freeways for people to you know, commute to and from work. So location, schools, lifestyle, types of homes is what draws people to this area. So I stopped at a place called Encanto for lunch. They're really, they have amazing salads. I'm a salad girl, love my salad, especially for lunchtime. So it's right on the intersection of 30th Street and University Avenue, which is where all the, all the restaurants are at, all the breweries are at. Um, it's Saturday and there are, it's like there's a good amount of people out here today, which is awesome, which is why I came out here now, so you can kind of get a feel for the vibe in North Park. So let's talk about price points. So the average price for a single family home in North Park, you're gonna look around 1.2. So starting, you can get into a single family home, think two bedroom, one bath, under a thousand square feet, you're looking at about 900,000 or so, give or take. And then they go up from there. For your four, four bedroom, 25 square foot home on a decent sized lot, you're looking at around 1.5 and up. So it really does have everything in between. And then if we're looking at condo, if condo lifestyle is or something that's a starter home for you, you can get into a condo for about 500,000 here in North Park. So it does range. And in terms of San Diego as a whole, it is considered to be a little bit, slightly more affordable than other areas in San Diego. So the three homes that I'm going to tour for you today, there's gonna to be one condo and the other two are gonna be single family homes in various price points to give you a better idea of what it costs to purchase a home here. up lunch so I say it's time to go tour three homes in North Park let's go Welcome to this three bedroom, 1,388 square foot home that's been stylishly modernized throughout. It's located in the Montclair neighborhood within North Park and is quote, newer by North Park standards and was built in 1964. This home is close to parks and major commuter routes and is listed for 1,249,000. Great location close to University Heights and walking distance to 30th Street where all the restaurants and shops are. This is a great starter home that puts you in the heart of the neighborhood. This updated home has two bedrooms, one bathroom with 888 square feet of living space and is listed for 979,000. Last on 
on our updated two bedroom, two bath condo with 1,215 square feet of living space. It's on the corner of Illinois Street and University Avenue, so shopping and restaurants are only a walk away. Enjoy the views on the private balcony that overlooks University Avenue. This unit comes with a two assigned parking spaces and is listed at $769,000 with a monthly HOA dues of $487. So there you have it, North Park, one of the most diverse, vibrant, eclectic communities in all of San Diego with the cutest craftsman Spanish style homes in the whole city. And hey, like I said before, whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We are happy to help you make that move to the best city in San Diego. And as always, my friends, stay classy, San Diego.